What if I told you that in a little over seven decades, our world would be transformed by groundbreaking technologies more radical than your wildest dreams? Imagine a future where science fiction becomes a reality, where extraordinary advancements redefine the boundaries of what's possible. In this video, we look at the 10 technologies that will rule the world in 2100. From artificial humans, nanobots that transport you to another reality, and mind-uploading tech to telepathic communication, geoengineering, and more, prepare for the wildest technologies of the future. And what do all these mean for us? Watch to the end to find out. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest cutting-edge technology. Number 1. Artificial Life Forms as if the current state of artificial intelligence is not scary, by 2100, scientists will be designing and building brand new organisms from scratch. And we're talking about everything from tiny synthetic bacteria to humans that resemble the replicants in Blade Runner. They're calling this field artificial life, or a life for short, and it's all about using computers and other synthetic tools to recreate biological processes. Believe it or not, the quest to create synthetic life's already underway. A while back, Researchers from Synthetic Genomics and the J. Craig Venter Institute accomplished something remarkable. They created an artificial bacterial genome that's even smaller than anything found in nature, with a mere 473 genes. This breakthrough is opening up new possibilities for biologists to delve into the fundamental functions of life and understanding the essential genes within cells. By using these building block cells, scientists could potentially construct organisms with abilities that don't exist in nature. Imagine bacteria that can devour plastic and toxic waste, or microorganisms that can act as medicine inside our bodies. Yes, it's that mind-boggling. And that's not all. Another fascinating project, led by George Church from Harvard Medical School, aims to create a synthetic human genome from scratch. The researchers behind it aren't stopping until they figure out how to power cells using synthetic human DNA. Number 2. Molecular Assemblers Imagine craving some tender, juicy, delicious ribs. But you know you don't have some in the house. Your options are to either dash out to the store or order in, right? In the future, however, there could be a third interesting option. You could make it yourself using a simple machine, from seemingly nothing. Yes, this is something that's actually been proposed and may be in the works as we speak, thanks to something known as a molecular assembler. As described by K. Eric Drexler, a molecular engineer who studies the potential of molecular nanotechnology, a molecular assembler is a proposed device that can guide chemical reactions by positioning reactive molecules with atomic precision. To put it simply, a molecular assembler will be able to receive instructions from you, the user, and then bring together specific molecules that will react and mesh together to form whatever you want, whether it's a hot cup of tea, as seen in Star Trek, or a tasty plate of food. Basically, it's like a 3D printer, but a hundred times more advanced. So whatever cool thing you think a 3D printer can do, a molecular assembler can do better and bigger. According to Drexler, the champion of this idea, Biological assemblers, which replicate bacteria, trees, and even people, already exist, just not as advanced. While this technology is almost too magical to believe, if successful, could help humanity build things that are presently considered too hard or impossible to make. And of course, anything your heart desires, including those juicy ribs. Number 3. Brain-Linked Virtual Reality so, you might know about wearable VR devices like Oculus Rift and, more recently, the hyped Apple Vision Pro, right? Well, as much as they're cool and all, no matter how advanced they get, they still can't fully replicate the feeling of being in a different reality. But you know what? By 2100, we could be telling a different story. Imagine this. Instead of relying on external gadgets, you can connect virtual reality experiences to your brains directly. Yup, you heard it right. And exactly how will that work? Well, by simply tapping into the power of our brains. See, our brains are amazing machines, processing all the sensory information we encounter daily. From the aroma of your favorite tacos to the vibrant glow of your computer screen, it's all routed to your brain. Now, futurist Ray Kurzweil, the author of The Singularity is Near, has some intriguing thoughts on how this brain-linked VR could become a reality. He suggests that nanobots could be the key, as these tiny bots will be inserted inside our bodies and brains, keeping us healthy and enabling a fully immersive VR experience from within our nervous system. They could even facilitate direct brain-to-brain -brain communication over the internet and enhance human intelligence. Now, before you dispel this as fantasy, hear this. We're already making significant advancements in breaching the blood-brain barrier and developing microscopic machines that can travel through our bodies. Moreover, we're actively mapping the intricate details of the brain, including the areas responsible for processing sensory information. 
That said, let's answer the important question here. How would this brain-linked VR work? Well, just picture this. Once the nanobots are implemented in your brain, they'll locate your brain's various sensory inputs and temporarily shut them down. This means the electrical signals collected by your retina, ear, and other sensory organs would be disrupted. You'd be completely unaware of your actual surroundings. It's like being in a sensory deprivation chamber. But here's the mind-blowing part. The nanobots, fueled by wireless transmission, would then provide artificial signals to the brain's cortical regions, essentially replacing the missing sensory inputs. And voila, you'd find yourself in a new world, experiencing it as if you'd been transported to another reality. Number 4. Telepathy The idea of communicating with people without speaking, in other words, mind-to-mind, -mind, is both exciting and scary. Yes, you probably would enjoy communicating without talking, but on the other side of the sphere, our minds are our private sanctuaries and thoughts can be brutally honest. But whatever side of the opinion poll you're on, direct mind-to-mind -mind communication technology seems closer to reality than ever before and might actually be realized by 2100. In fact, in 2014, some researchers were able to show brain-to-brain -brain interaction between two people hundreds of miles apart. On top of this, another group of researchers tried transmitting brain signals via the internet to control another person's hand gestures, and it worked. A breakthrough in this technology, if realized, will bring humans closer together, and eventually, there will be nothing like an individual mind. Instead, we'll have a collective consciousness. Number 5. Utility Fog Picture this, a swarm of tiny nanobots that can transform into any object and change their shape on the go. Well, that there is a utility fog, and the tiny nanobots are what we call foglets. So, J. Storrs Hall devised this idea one fine day while thinking about futuristic seatbelts. Instead of regular straps and airbags, he envisioned an intelligent cloud of interconnected foglets, like beautiful snowflakes, that could adapt to the movements of anything they encounter, including the passengers inside cars. Each foglet is a mere 10 microns across, about the size of a human cell. They have a tiny onboard computer to control their actions, but an artificially intelligent system externally controls them. On top of that, they boast a dozen telescopic arms that can extend outward, forming a dodecahedron shape. When two foglets connect, they create a circuit, enabling power distribution and communication within the network. Rather than floating, these foglets arrange themselves into a lattice structure called an octet truss when they link hands in all 12 directions. Sure, that sounds like much at the moment, but once you wrap your head around how they work, it becomes easier to understand. See, a utility fog some sort of programmable matter in action. It can move around, envelop objects or even people, and transport them. The best part? Utility fogs could be used to construct an entire virtual world around you. Number 6. Climate Engineering The oceans are warmer and more acidic than they've ever been. While some countries are experiencing heavier and more frequent rainfall, others are getting drier and hotter. The sea level's rising at an alarming rate. As for CO2 levels, they're the highest in 650,000 years. What are we saying? Climate change is happening, and fast. If we don't stop it, humanity's likely doomed. But there could be a solution in the offing. Climate engineering, also known as geoengineering. This niche refers to a set of emerging technologies that could help manipulate the environment and offset some of the severe impacts of climate change. One proposed geoengineering idea is cirrus cloud seeding. In the simplest terms, this would involve changing the formation of cirrus clouds, the light feathery hair-like clouds you see in the sky, so that long-wave radiation from the Earth escapes to space, slowing down global warming. Other geoengineering hacks we could see soon include putting up a giant reflector in space, spreading sulfuric acid droplets in the stratosphere using jets, and fertilizing the ocean with special carbon-sucking blooms, among others. So why is geoengineering scary? If scientists get it wrong, things can go south frighteningly fast, and we could wreck our planet irreversibly. Number 7. Space-Based Solar Power as we grapple with the challenges of climate change and strive to shift to more sustainable energy sources, it sometimes feels like our energy demands are just too much to handle. But you know what? Space-based solar power might just be the game-changer we need. And believe it or not, the concept of space-based solar power has been around for almost six decades. See, back in the 1960s, Peter Glazer imagined a world where satellites in space could capture solar energy and beam it down to Earth using microwaves. Since then, various ideas and plans have emerged, but Japan's been leading the charge with its SBSP system. So how does it work? While the Japanese plan involves a constellation of satellites orbiting around 22,400 miles above the equator that will use laser beams to transmit the captured solar energy back to Earth. Each satellite would target a receiving station on the ground, which would be about 1.8 miles wide. 
And get this, it would generate a whopping gigawatt of electricity, enough to power around half a million homes. Of course, safety's a top priority. That's why the receiving stations would be far away from densely populated areas. Think deserts or isolated islands, a spot where human habitation's minimal. Number 8. Mind Uploading Imagine a future where people can choose to exist purely in a digital realm, free from the constraints of biology. It's called mind uploading, and it's all about making an exact copy of a biological brain in painstaking detail. We're talking molecular level precision, capturing everything from memories to personality quirks. Now, futurists are still figuring out the nitty gritty of how mind uploading will actually work, but we have an idea. For one, they could try destructive copying, where a brain is sliced up to record its state and memories. Alternatively, a powerful brain scanner could capture a snapshot of the brain, which would then be translated into a functioning mind within a computer. But to function normally, the uploaded person would need a virtual body and environment. Number 9. Weather Control Granted, controlling the weather completely by the end of the century may be a bit of a stretch, but we're certainly making strides in that direction. We're already tinkering with clouds to stimulate rainfall, and California's been at it for almost half a century. That's right! And even during the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, Chinese authorities fired rockets into the clouds to bring rain before it hit the city. Looking ahead, weather engineers have some fascinating ideas up their sleeves. Picture this. Massive wall-like structures that could prevent destructive tornadoes from forming, or a series of offshore turbines strong enough to harness the energy of hurricanes and weaken their impact. You get the idea. In fact, a study in 2014 showed that a wind farm with thousands of turbines could significantly reduce peak winds and storm surges, effectively lowering a hurricane's power. But here's where it gets really intriguing. We might actually eventually create a weather machine capable of programming the atmosphere itself, and one concept involves a global cloud of transparent balloons floating in the stratosphere. These balloons would have mirrors, GPS for monitoring, actuators for orientation control, and small computers inside them. Lifted by hydrogen, they would hover about 20 miles above the Earth's surface, as the mirrors facing away from the Earth reflect sunlight back into space. And just to add, they'll be guided by artificial intelligence, pretty much like some sort of programmable greenhouse gas system to influence weather patterns worldwide and transform marginal areas into habitable regions. Number 10. Fusion Power Recently, a group of physicists in Germany received a remarkable feat in the pursuit of nuclear fusion a powerful, promising form of energy. Basically, they used a powerful microwave pulse to heat low-density hydrogen plasma to an astonishing 80 million degrees. Now, before you get too excited, the experiment didn't produce any usable energy, and it lasted a mere quarter of a second. But it was a crucial step forward in our quest to harness the immense potential of nuclear fusion. Unlike nuclear fission, where atoms are split into smaller parts, nuclear fusion involves merging two lighter nuclei to create a single, heavier nucleus. This results in an enormous amount of energy. If harnessed, fusion power could produce clean and abundant energy for everyone, a lot more than what we currently generate from nuclear reactors and fossil fuels. But there's a catch. Scientists are yet to find a foolproof solution to controlling the extreme conditions generated by a fusion, which are comparable to the sun's surface. You see, fusion plasmas are incredibly unruly and difficult to confine. The sun holds its plasma thanks to its immense gravitational pull. But doing the same without that much gravity is a whole other story. The slightest mistake, and it's boom. All in all, it's fascinating to think about how these technologies will reshape our world in less than 100 years. The thing is, it's hard to predict precisely how they'll become a reality, or which will precede the other. We might see brain-linked VR, mind uploading, and AI merging to create a computer-based civilization with real people, emulated brains, and artificial intelligence. And when it comes to climate engineering, who knows how weather control systems and engineered nanoparticles might join forces. The truth is, the more we try to predict the future, the more uncertain it becomes. It's a reminder that the possibilities are endless, and we can't always foresee what lies ahead. So, which of these technologies do you see coming into fruition in our generation? Drop a comment and don't forget to like the video! For more exciting videos, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. That wraps it up. Until next time, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out this next video on the future of age reversal.